Greetings, YouTube. We have always called this July 4th deals because, well, for some reason, the company based in Canada has chosen American independence for their biggest sales of the year. But that has all changed. Canada has taken their country back, and now we have no acknowledgement of July 4th at all. And instead, we have Canada Month, which I think is appropriate and honestly long overdue. So because of this, all July 4th data from years past, we had a 24-hour period to throw all the money and units at Kabam that you could for crazy deals. You can't really compare that anymore unless you talk about a very similar, in fact, exact pattern of both duration of time and also similar levels of deals that we saw when Cyber Weekend was officially the first weekend in November of 2019 to offer us the same multi-day period instead of just a separate deal for Black Friday and a separate deal for Cyber Monday. So you are staring at the Cavalier version from November of what we got, and that was a long time ago, right? That was uh, eight months ago. So here's the deal. We're going to recap this. I did this in two separate videos last time, and people said that it was confusing to have it in two separate, so I'm just combining it all into one. It's going to be a little bit longer probably than it would be if I you know, had them separated, but you know, it's my channel. I'll do what I want. I don't know why I did that sassy voice. So for those of you who are uncollected, I am hoping that this is what you see tomorrow. I'm hoping that for five bucks, you get 250 bonus six star shards and 4,500 tier five basic callus fragments. Now for six star shards, I would also hope if you're Cavalier that you see double what you're seeing right now, that you see 500 additional six star shards for the Peter Parker's wallet and a thousand additional six star hero crystal shards for Star Lord's loot bag. I don't know if I expect, in fact, I definitely don't expect the tier four basics to be doubled to six, but I would hope that you would at least add in a little bit more of tier two alpha, like a fully formed tier two alpha for 10 bucks would be incredible. That'd be by far the cheapest we've ever seen. Of course, you also get the uh, Star Lord's loot bag worth of units as a bonus. And then for tier five basic, it would be nice to have 9,000 for five bucks. We'll see if that happens because then that would put a tier five basic. God, <laughs> 25 bucks on average? Crazy. So let's move over to the $30 bundle. This is what I definitely don't expect to double. I do not expect them to say, okay, now you're going to give us 66 stones. We'll give you 120. The six stones in 2019 were so unbelievably inflated versus what they have jacked their price up to be this year that for the first time, I'm afraid that we're going to scale back on some rewards versus what we saw in 2019. They know that the demand for signature stones has never been higher, and we're gonna talk about it in a second, but because the July monthly calendar yesterday was signature stone heavy, I, I kinda worry that they're going to go away from signature stones in the unit deals. I hope there's still some, but 60 was amazing. I mean, I remember, I, I just got to max rank to SIG 200, like three five-star champions because since they're the plus ones, they're all in my overflow. Like I had hundreds, literally hundreds of signature stones after this in my overflow. I hope that Kabam is smart enough to change this to like 30 plus twos or even better if you want to go like 12 plus fives because you won't run out in your overflow, whereas plus ones will absolutely go into your overflow, which of course, if you don't spend, you will lose. And I know people who didn't have a champion that they wanted to use it on. And so they either had to use the signature stones on crappy champions or just flat out lose them. I'm also hoping for 30 bucks that the six star hero crystal shards doubles to uh, 3000 for those of you who are cavalier and stays that way for uncollected. Now 50 bucks, you saw the 10 six star signature stones. I'm hoping if we get those, that those double, because we have seen that before to 20. And that you get, uh, I don't expect six tier two alpha, but it would be nice to maybe have it be four tier two alpha and at least 30,000 tier five basic. That can double. Absolutely, that can double. And then the All Father Odin's Vault. This is 
the big question mark. I do expect them to keep the five-star Nexus Hero Crystal. It is just too popular. I would love, in a perfect world, for them to have doubled the six-star Hero Crystal Shard count for those of you who are Cavalier uncollected. Hopefully it's 5,000. But Cavalier, 10,000 six-star shards. Or a six-star crystal, a fully formed basic, for the Odin price of $100. Uh, that is really what I'm hoping for. And uh, just as a reminder, there are two levels of deals. There's the units and there's the unit store. Now let's talk about the unit store. I think it's time you doubled up on this. I think it's time you had 2,000 six-star hero crystal shards for the 1,000, which is the minimum price, the first tier of units. Uh, at least 5,000, half a five-star, 4,000 units. Tier 2 alpha would be great if they gave us two, but at least one and a half. Tier 4 basics, I expect them to keep that at around five. Uh, and I think the other one was a tier 4 class catalyst. We will find that out specifically. Here we go in this information. Okay, so it goes up really fast. It's traditionally gone from 1,000 to 4,000. So suddenly you're from uh, like $40 worth of units to $140 worth of units. So three tier two alpha, I would hope for Cavalier members that that is at least five. Five tier four basic, I maybe added a couple more on that. Six tier one alpha, you know, the bottom line for people I've heard from is that what they really want in both this and eventually this is some selector, but at least class-based of Tier 5 class catalysts. Those of you watching this, you're, you're concentrating on six stars now. We'll get to the six-star Awakening Gym discussion here in a second. But you want Tier 5 class catalyst. B besides Tier 2 Alpha and Tier 5 Basic, the Tier 5 class catalyst is what is keeping you from taking that six-star to rank three. So maybe the 4,000 unit also has one... 10% tier 5 class catalyst. Now, I would expect it to be a class, not a uh, selector in the lower tiers of this because they've got to do something to motivate you to keep buying. And so if they give you a selector, then they know that people might say, oh, I'll stop after 5,000 units. Well, no, they don't want you to stop until maybe even 18,000 units, which is a crazy amount. That's essentially $600 worth of units. So we are going to now go to the superior Awakening bundle, although I will say the Greater Summoner bundle should now include enough include enough between the 5,000 for an additional 6-star hero crystal. So maybe 6,000 6-star six shards, uh, at least 20,000 5-star shards, 80 5-star 6-stones. I would hope there's a, a few 6-star six 6-stones six in there, even if it's 10 or 20. And then <laughs> the gold's always a pathetic amount. I would uh, hope it would increase too, but that's probably going to stay the same because they're gold cheapers. Okay, so 10,000 units gives you a choice. Now, I think the choice is going to be this. It's either going to be a six-star class-based Awakening Gem or some percentage. I don't expect to fully form. Best case scenario would be 50%, but it might be closer to 25, which would be underwhelming. And I'd be, I'd be very curious. In fact, I'd love in the comments if this matters to you. Would you be more tempted to buy a 25% Tier 5 Class Catalyst Selector or a six-star class-based Awakening Gem? Or do you think it needs to be closer to 50% to have it be even? 10,000 units is a crazy amount of units. I'm not going to deny that. Especially when you've already spent 5,000 units worth of getting past the first two bouncers of this multi-tiered level of deal. Uh, but yeah, besides that, I would hope that they would keep the six-star shards relevant in these bundles. And that uh, if you got essentially the tier five class catalyst selector they're thinking that you're wanting to take that six star to rank three so they're going to add in more tier two alpha and more tier five basic catalysts and then if you get the six star awakening gym i would imagine it's a six star rank up gym from rank one to rank two included in that and uh maybe some shards maybe not but uh we're going to now talk about uh the final Maximum Summoner Bundle, which was a new addition in November, and that was an additional Odin, or about 3,000 units, for six-star Hero Crystal Shards. I expect them to return this and make it 15,000 six-star Hero Crystal Shards, make it a featured six-star for an extra 3,000 units. The best case scenario, of course, would be a Nexus, but I do not see them doing that because they don't want to devalue their six-star Nexus Crystal of both the Abyss and Act 6. So now <clears throat> we're going to briefly discuss this 
fake leak that was so obviously fake because it did not include Peter Parker's wallet. It did not include uh, much six star shard discussion outside of like the minimum. But I do think that the tier three 10,000 unit version one and version two is pretty dang close to what we can expect for Cavalier members. And I think those of you who are uncollected can expect what I just showed being the five star uh, rank up gym or five star awakening gym offers as well. I am hopeful that this is like a baseline prediction, but I do think a six star awakening gym is the class and the rank up gym and then a tier five. I, I just think a tier five class catalyst random even would be too much but here's another question would you rather have a fully formed that's random or to be able to select the class but have it at most half as much so a 50 percent tier 5 class catalyst selector or a 100 percent random class personally for me i'd rather select it because i want to take corvus to rank three finally and i don't want the rng to absolutely screw me over which you know it will Keep in mind, with six stones, we just saw this. We just saw the six star and five star six star daily card literally 24 hours ago. And because of this, they're kind of making me think that they're going to scale back on signature stones this year because they want to keep the market for those up the rest of the year. This is where they make a lot of money now. This is the prestige wars of the top alliances who are super thirsty, especially for those six star generic signature stones. So if they flood the market with too many, then that might take some buying pressure off the market for the duration of 2020, and they're not going to want to do that. I hope I'm wrong, but I just definitely don't expect them to double what they did in November. They traditionally have in the past, but we've reached a ceiling on the uh, reasonable expectation of them to do that. Well, there you go. The last couple of uh, videos were about six minutes apiece, and I did two of them, so I guess 12 minutes for two videos in one makes sense. Uh, what would you like to see tomorrow? Because it is tomorrow, July 3rd, not July 4th. It'll be fireworks of deals with no relation to the firework holiday of July 4th in America. Have a great rest of your day, YouTube. Happy Thursday. Thanks for watching.